Isaac Janich has devoted over 40 years of his life to the art of Kung Fu. About six years ago, he founded the Srebrenica Kung Fu Club, and its reputation blossomed ever since. This year, we were invited to represent all of Bosnia and Herzegovina at the World Championships. We were proud and full of energy. That's why we did so well. Three gold and four silver medals. And with only five fighters. That's a fantastic result. He calls his students his dragons. He has no children of his own. Three students are at the club today. Adnela is the most accomplished. It was brilliant in Budapest, a huge competition. I'm 14 and really glad I got to go there. I had quite a bit of success, one gold and one silver medal. 35 nations competed in Hungary, nearly 2,000 martial artists in total. And despite its size, Bosnia and Herzegovina made ninth place on the medal table. For Isaac's students, the first fight begins off the mats. It's a struggle to pay the fees but their determination might be part of the reason they perform so well. Isak himself is an unassuming man. His pension amounts to just 120 euros a month, not enough to live on even in an impoverished Bosnia. So he also raises a yard full of sheep and goats. It works quite well. I sell lambs and young goats. It's just the two of us, me and my wife. She's ill, but somehow we scrape by. We don't need much. And what we've got is enough for us. And then, in early spring, the news arrived from faraway America. Izak's success as a coach had earned him a spot in the United States Martial Arts Hall of Fame, a great honor and recognition of his efforts. This is simply the pinnacle of what you can achieve in martial arts, at least for me. I don't think there can be any greater recognition, maybe winning a world championship. That would be at about the same level, a gold medal. But to me, this is more important. But how to pay for the trip to the U.S.? The club doesn't have the funds to sponsor it. The town of Srebrenica grants the club only 2,000 euros per year, even though it now boasts over 100 members. Isaac doesn't want to charge fees. Many of the club's members couldn't afford it. They go to a local gymnasium to practice. You saw, when we arrived here, there was no water in the toilets. I could have just cancelled practice, but we're going to keep on going. When it comes to equipment, we have four sets of training gear. Two can fight, two can suit up. The equipment is expensive, and the club has no money. We just manage to get by. Wealthy private donors occasionally step up as sponsors, especially to finance trips to competitions. But Isaac seems reluctant to ask for the money to finance his trip to the U.S. His friends and club members are collecting the money for him. Few people here have jobs, and it's hard for us to collect money to send coach Isaac to the U.S. for the Hall of Fame ceremony. But we'll get the money together anyway because we're very, very proud of him. Adnela puts in another practice session at home. Two men need to hang up the punching bag for her. And then, the 14-year-old girl gets to it and puts the bag in its place. Her martial arts skills command respect. The boys at school don't mess with me, not that they haven't tried. And how did that go? Not well for them. And if she keeps training hard, it's unlikely to go well for her future opponents either. Isaac is sure of that. After all, more important than his own recognition is the future of his determined dragons.